Sadiq Khan is for Labour, uh, you've got Zach Goldsmith for the Conservatives, Sean Berry for the Greens, George Galloway is on there as well, a bit dodgy. I'm definitely going to vote. I am, yes, I've registered. It's highly unlikely that I'm going to vote for the London election. Yeah, I will vote. Yeah, I'm going to vote. I've looked at the different candidates that there are. Uh, I haven't quite made my mind up yet whether I'm going to vote. So far, I'm still undecided, but so far it's Sadiq Khan. Um, I'm normally a Labour supporter, uh, and I quite like uh, where Sadiq's coming from. I know that his background shouldn't really make a difference, but it would be nice to see um, a Muslim from London, kind of representing London, um, and someone like from a council state, things like that. But other than that, his policies are also quite good. I'm going to vote for um for the candidate I think will do the best for London? Probably the Green candidate, Sean Berry. Um, I was thinking of voting her and maybe putting Sadiq Khan, the Labour Party one, as a second preference. Um, I don't particularly support either of them, but I don't want Zach Goldsmith. I hate everything that this government does, and he's part of this government. <laughs> he's, he's a friend of Cameron. and. Um, I think the Conservatives have just been doing everything for their rich friends and things are getting worse and worse for ordinary people. Sadiq Khan is the one for me. I think him and Zach Goldsmith are the only two kind of, well, credible candidates. And I kind of feel like Zach Goldsmith is quite removed from the whole Londoner, seeing as he's inherited millions, well, billions even from his, his father. I kind of feel like Sadiq Khan's more the voice of the people. I am more interested in having the GLC reintroduced uh, back into London. I'm not really interested in the idea that each borough has a different poll tax rate. I don't support the London Mayor or any of the candidates because none of them are talking about reintroducing a unilateral um, standard flat rate for, for the poll tax or the old-fashioned rates. I don't know about them by name, but I know the uh, Labour candidate. I'm quite a big fan of I'm Labour like myself, so yeah, I like his values and he has a lot to say about like TfL and things, so yeah, I'm a fan of that. I'm going uh, actually to vote for George Galloway. I have two reasons for that. It was an ex-Tory uh, and uh, he has a far vision about London. So, in, the, in his last speech on TV, on ITV1, uh, he said he's going to change London in a better way. So, I, I don't know, I, I, I believe this guy. What has he done? He has created the massive shards kind of vanity project. Um, he's stolen Boris bikes from Ken Livingstone. He's just created more of a wealth elite uh, here in London. Um, my rent is ridiculous and I live in Finsbury Park, not in central London. I share it with six other people. I pay 600 pounds a month. Uh, and I'm just a student, how are we meant to live here? Um, so, no, I don't like Boris Johnson, basically. I think he can go, <laughs> it's five foot. Um, I like some of the things he does, some others I don't. Uh, Boris Johnson is not a candidate, actually. It's somebody else, Mr. Sack. His name is Sack, I think, something like this. And I respect Boris Johnson's ideology. I'm living in, a, in the middle of a building site at the moment because all these developments are going up and he's not opposing any of them but they're all luxury flats it's not for us so i'd know i don't think he's done anything very much <laughs> <laughs> 